And that's a sad, sad, sad life. You know, and they bank. They make millions of dollars per year. You know, if I can make a DVD, how to make millions by just being pretty much average. You just be a mutual fund manager or a hedge fund manager and you dress up in a suit and tie and you talk about how this is the year for China and how gold is going down and how you're perfectly positioned. And none of that really matters because it's all a guessing game and the odds of success suck. And this is why most traders lose. So I don't want you acting like that and I don't want you thinking like that. The way that I think is very, very different. I'm very, very different. Play that uh, two chain song. I was going to say Jew Chains. My, if I was a rapper, my rapper name would be Jew Chains. But play that two chain song over and over again. Yeah, I'm different. Yeah, I'm different. Be different. Think different. That's how you really make your mark on the world. You know, I don't want to teach you just to make a million dollars in management fees every single year and beat the S&P 500 by a half percent or a one percent. That job is filled thousands of times over. You know, I, I know you want to make a million dollars, but come on, let's make a million dollars and be self-sufficient and do something special. Even if I beat the major indices every year and I make, let's say, 15 to 30 percent per year, I am not happy because 15 to 30 percent per year, while it's great for mutual funds, it's great for hedge fund managers. You know, they're going to be number one in their asset class. They're going to raise tens, if not hundreds of millions, or maybe even billions of dollars more. And then they'll make their one or two percent management fees. That does not create wealth anytime soon for people with small accounts. So I say screw traditional investing and their dismal annual returns. You might get rich by the time you're Warren Buffett's age, and then you can purchase the best hip surgery money can buy. That is the sad truth. I have created millionaires from scratch within five years. I want more. You know, even if you're 70 years old watching this, I want you to be a millionaire by the time you're 75, not by the time you're 100. Making 15 to 30% per year, I know that's great. I know that's what finance and CNBC and street.com and Bloomberg and all these big time multi-billion dollar financial corporations are all about teaching you how to beat the markets by 1% or 2% or 5% per year. That is not going to make you rich anytime soon. And they look down on me because they say, oh, it's impossible to turn a few thousand into a few million. It's too risky. You must be a scam. And they use that voice for whatever reason. I'm not a scam. I've done it, and now several of my students have done it. And I'm making this guide so that you can do it. Don't think about companies and stocks as long-term investments. Use the stock prices only to increase your wealth quickly. Now, this is a revolutionary concept. Most people look at the stocks and they're like, oh, I'm going to invest in Under Armour. I wear their clothes all the time. I'm going to you know, invest in Starbucks. I drink their coffee all the time. When I was going on CNBC, they wanted me to have between 15 and 20 stock picks at all times, just random companies talking about, you know, okay, they're expanding into Latin America. Here's their main product. Good. That's a good pick. And, you know, one simple story, one new product, uh, it, it doesn't make you rich. That's basic stock picking. And most people who do basic stock picking lose money. And they don't make extraordinary gains. And especially not extraordinary gains very quickly. My strategy is under the radar and ignored by Wall Street since it can only make you a few million dollars. Not hundreds of millions, not billions of dollars like all the smartest people want. That's why stock picking is so much fun, especially big companies like Starbucks. You can buy a million shares tomorrow and invest, you know, 20, 30, 50, 100 million dollars. And if you're right over, let's say, a year or two and you make 10 or 20 million on that one pick, but you need tens or hundreds of millions of dollars to start with. That's what mutual funds and hedge funds do. For me, my strategy really works with the smallest of accounts. I didn't choose it. Trust me, I did not grow up to be like, oh, I want to grow up to be a penny stock trader <laughs> or a penny stock trading teacher. That was not in my plan. I wanted to be one of those mutual fund managers with a nice suit and tie, you know, buying very good companies like GE and sleeping well at night. But that's not what I find works. 
What I find works is the low hanging fruit in the US stock market, penny stocks, stocks that no mutual funds or hedge funds rarely ever touch. And that makes them inefficiently priced. And that creates opportunity for smaller accounts. And the fact that I've made millions of dollars in you, and you can hear, <laughs> I'm not even that smart. You know, my millionaire students are smarter than me. And I purposely started teaching because I said, you know what, if I can make a few million dollars with this, let me just throw the strategy out there. What can other people do? I'm, I'm curious. And from what I hear from my international students that these patterns and rules work in international markets too. I have a student who trades Bitcoin and he says he's made $250,000 with the patterns that I teach here trading Bitcoin, which has nothing to do with penny stocks, but I guess it works. I don't know. I really not have not had the time to explore that. I'm a little overwhelmed as it is thanks to my existing millionaire students getting a lot of press on Fox and CNN and the stories going viral, but it's cool. You know, there's so much money to be made. All I want to do is show you the rules and throw out what I've learned to you. And then you can take with it what you want. You can throw away some of my rules, say, Oh, I don't like it. Here are some ones that I do for me. For my top students, <clears throat> what has worked best is taking a look at every single one of my rules. And only after you're successful do you start deviating and say, okay, this fits my personality better. For now, 99% of you watching this follow the rules strictly. But also know the limitations. I know my limitations and the limitations of my strategy and teachings. This DVD is not called How to Make Billions. So if you want to make billions, Stop watching this DVD because it won't make you that. And it's good to know your limits. You know, you should also try various strategies to push the boundaries, but know your limitations. And when I first made my million dollars when I was back in college, I had no idea the limitations. I had gone from 12,000 to 1.65 million in four years. And I was like, oh, four years more and I'll get to 100 million. And I didn't understand the limitations with my strategy. I had a hedge fund which had $3 million, but I discovered I'm a better teacher than trader. That's true. I'm not ashamed to admit it, you know, especially running a hedge fund. Sometimes I would take lunch meetings to try and meet with the clients to raise more money and I'd miss a trade and then I'd feel guilty. So then another time I'd cancel a lunch meeting with a potential investor and trade and then feel forced to trade because now I've canceled the meeting and then the trade would go splat because I'm trying to force it and trying to make money. And I just wasn't a very good hedge fund manager. I was still number one ranked in my asset class, but you know, I'm just a better teacher. And the cool thing is that I have learned to make more money and live more importantly, live a more fulfilling life teaching than just trading alone and managing money for rich snobs. That is the truth. You know, every single person that I met with, they're just rich and I don't get along with rich people. I don't know if it's my personality, if it's my upbringing, whatever, but I love teaching, you know, people who are in the middle class and in the lower class, and to try and you know bring you up to the upper class. I think that is a very cool thing to do and it's very, very fulfilling. And I found out that I'm actually really good at it. You know, I still make millions of dollars trading, as you can see from this year's gains especially, but teaching brings a whole new level to this. Everybody wants to make millions, but most don't want to study first and learn exactly how to do it. I cannot encourage you enough to watch this DVD, to watch my video lessons. To, if you're a trading challenge student, watch my webinars before you start trading big. If you really want to start trading, trade with like 100 shares to get your feet wet. But if you learn the rules, if you learn the patterns and you have this in your mind, every single trade you do, you have better odds on. And whether you're a man, woman, child in the US, Asia, Europe, South America, Africa, no matter your intelligence, math skills, or finances, the rules are simple and easy to learn and follow. So I know I'm saying this a lot, but what I found is that repeating this stuff gets it through to your heads. If I say it once, you're just like, yeah, yeah, next. Well, I'm going to say it again and again. Study these rules and this guidebook incessantly before risking your hard earned money in the stock market. I know you paid good money for this DVD and you know, my trading challenge students and people who pay for my video lessons, but the money that costs you for education is so small compared to the money that you can make on one trade or more importantly, 
the money you can lose when you don't know the rules. You know, the market has a tuition and the market tuition is infinitely more than any of my educational products. So I don't want you to get into that issue. And I know that I, a lot of people do. Sadly, a lot of people don't believe me at first. They see my Lamborghini, they see, you know, my pictures somewhere. Maybe they hear about me because now I have this weekly newspaper column, but they start trading first and then they learn the hard way. Wait a minute, probably shouldn't have done that. And then they lose 10, 20, 30, 50, a hundred thousand dollars. Then they come to me and their confidence is broken and that's okay. You know, it's better late than never, but I just want to try and prevent you that kind of hardship. I hate hearing from people who have lost five and six. One guy even lost seven figures before he came to me. I'm not like all knowing, but the rules that I teach will help prevent that. And that is very valuable. More importantly, these rules that I teach have proven to grow small accounts exponentially. As I've talked about, I don't care about making five, 10, 15, 30% per year. I don't have like this diversified portfolio where I have 20 magic stocks. I think that's all BS. What I do is very specific, very tactical. I'm like a sniper. I have one or two stocks at a time and I try and be right for various reasons, whether I'm long or short, as you'll learn in a sec. But by being a sniper, by aiming small, missing small, here or there, keeping the rest of the account in cash, you can grow your account exponentially, trade after trade after trade. It adds up, as you'll see. The stock market and trading stocks can be very scary without an understanding of the rules to beating it. No different than driving without paying attention to traffic rules or traffic signs. You can't ignore road signs or else you're going to likely crash. I'm basically just a glorified driving instructor and I'm teaching you these rules as traffic lights, stop, yield, speed limit. Follow the rules and enjoy the ride. You know, those of us who do like driving, you know, I love driving my Lamborghini and my Porsche. I'm very fortunate to have these cars, but I still obey the rules. No matter what car you have, you can't just go 300 miles an hour on a turn. You can't just go through red lights and swerve over lines. You have to pay attention to traffic rules. And these rules that I'm about to teach you, these are stock market rules. And they're now proven several times over to create millionaires from scratch. Picture my millionaire students as very successful drivers. I know that the stock market can be scary. I know that trading can be very scary and especially penny stocks when, you know, these stocks are moving up and down and you don't know what's going on. I know it's scary, but after you have watched this guide, hopefully it won't be that scary. Maybe you'll have to watch this guide twice or three times, but I am your driving instructor. I will teach you safe driving. If you follow this analogy, I will teach you safe trading. Even though I've made millions of dollars trading penny stocks, which sounds crazy and risky, I'm actually a very conservative trader. I value safety first and foremost. Now I know I'm saying learn the rules, learn the rules, and I haven't told you the rules of the game yet. Trust me, I'm getting to that. But first, I need to give you this intro to get you in the right mindset. I can tell you the rules, but I've done this for so many years where I know if I tell you the rules and you don't have the right perspective, it's useless. They don't get through to you. They're not as effective. So I'm preparing you. This is a very important point right here. You don't need to be right on every trade. This is a very awesome thing because even though I've made millions and several of my students and friends have made millions, none of us are right on every trade. Not even 90%, not even 80% of the time. We're in the 60s and 70s percent of the time. So I want you to study and create a working model for yourself and then refine it and make it work best for you. When you see the rules that I'm about to present to you and the patterns, you take what you like. You say, wait a minute, this fits my personality really well. You know, I'm an impatient guy. I only want to hold the stock for a day. Or some of you might be like, you know what? This is a scam. I'm going to bet against this scam and I'm just going to hold for like a week or two because that makes more sense to my brain. Whatever works for you, 